Thank you for tuning in. These have been miracle moments just to really share from my heart and, you know, give you things that really have helped me. You know, there's a story of this fiddler and he goes to a wedding and he sees that his friend is just really, really sad. And he's like, this is the day you've been waiting for. Like, what's going on? Why are you so sad? He says, oh, you don't understand. Like, this is, my brother is not here. You see, there was many, many years of feuding between him and his brother. And um, he really, really wanted to make amends and try to start a new relationship. And so he made the effort to invite his brother. His brother actually had three nights in a row a dream from the father to say, enough is enough. When are you going to make peace with your brother? Let bygones be bygones. <sighs> well, that night, even though he had a dream the night before, he did not want to go to the wedding, so he actually put pajamas on early to make sure that he would not be tempted to go to his brother's wedding. Both of them didn't even remember what the whole feud was about so many years ago. Well, when the fiddler found out, he says, I'm going to help you. So he went to the corner of the house, right where the window of the bedroom of this brother, and he started making the most melodious music beautiful, enchanting. And the brother was so mesmerized by this beautiful music, he started like going outside and started following the man to the wedding. And all of a sudden he lands in the wedding and he's spellbound, music stops, and he's like out of his trance. And then the brother sees him and he's so happy that he's there. But then he's like, did you have to come in your pajamas? <laughs> oh my gosh, can you imagine? <sighs> so basically, like all that we do on this face of this earth, like, you know, all the chores, all the cleaning, all the acts of kindness, it's like we're collecting these most gorgeous garments for our soul. And like there will be a time where we're going to meet our maker eventually and we'll have arrived at the final feast with the most incredible gorgeous garments to meet our maker yes our thoughts speech and actions dress our soul and beautify it do you know that one mitzvah okay even just a you know, a smile when you don't feel like it raises your soul infinitely as much as your soul is infinite because each mitzvah is God's will and God is infinite so that each time you add that garment to your soul, your soul gets raised infinitely. Make that calculation next time when you feel like not doing something. Like, you know, the gems you're collecting. These are like incredible opportunities have you ever wondered like you know how you can overcome your Yetzirah but when you have this mindset hopefully it'll make it a little easier for you to give into the Yetzirah and collect these garments as well as the gems <laughs>